Yeah. I think God uses any person. Um, it's really having a heart for people that you want to see them healed, you want to see people move forward, facilitating something that God's going to do with people. So I think to come into this sort of ministry, you have to um, really want to see people change. You want to see people um, feel forgiven, feel free, feel whole again. And uh, yeah, so it's for anyone. You know, like we're all different personalities, all different walks in life. It's for anyone. It's quite an easy ministry once you get a hold of what the actual tools are that you're using. And then it's a matter of music moving with what God's doing in that session. As a facilitator, I'm a second. And I just find that um, it's something I can do and feel confident in doing because um, I grow closer to God while I'm doing it. And I just enjoy being a facilitator there and just seeing God set people free. And all, the, all because he's done the work, not because anyone else has done it, but because he's done it. Um, you get to see a really good side of God and it's faith building, so, so actually stepping up. Oh yeah, the training's great. The training's, um, it's very, um, yeah, it's good, it's very precise. Um, yeah, very good, the training is really good. It's fun, you know, it's, it's clear, you know, it's all step by step and uh, it's very, very well presented. Yes, the training sessions really help. I'm not saying I'd be ready to be a first, but it gives me confidence in being a second because the second always writes down the words of encouragement that God has given to the person coming to the client. And so because you've written down these words and you give them that bit of paper with it on, they go away with a written record of exactly what God told them, not what anyone else has told them, but what God has told them. That happens in every session. God will heal that person and bring the freedom required. No matter how bad you think you are doing it, he has a way of getting to it. So, um, you know, really, we're, it's going with the Holy Spirit. Mm. It's, it's been a challenge to be a facilitator. Um, because there's always that sense of wanting to have all this information at your fingertips to be able to actually explain things or to, you know, where do we go from here? But really, so often, well, it's every time, really, the Holy Spirit does show up. He just gives you insights. He, um, just when we ask the person questions, you know, what God wants to uh, address, he does, so it's really not about us, and I think that's what we've found a lot. It's not about us. God does does the work with the person, and he gives us everything that we need in those sessions. So it's actually not as hard as I thought it would be. Yeah. And another thing that i found is God's talking. You know, he's always talking, and it just takes us to take time out to hear his voice. And you'll hear him, you know, and I haven't been in a sozo where somebody hasn't heard him, heard him actually telling them something. And that's been quite a surprise for them. And it's a surprise for me as well, because it's like, wow, you know, he does talk and he's always there. He's always there. It's for anyone. You don't have to come with any, um, any, well, you need to probably do the so basic sozo training, I understand. I think that would probably, you know, then you would know what it's all about and whether it's something that you wanted to do. Um, but it's a team, you know, we're a team and it's all part of being, being part of the team and learning together. Well, I think the Bible says that we are equipped. He's given us everything that we need. What we need is to get our head right so that we know that we are capable because God has made us capable. He's given us everything we need. We just need to step out. So there is training and we do meet together fairly regularly as a group. And that's not just for training, but just to build um, you know, friendships and understanding of you know, other people's experiences and what they're doing. Mm. So there's a bit of a, a community of us um, that are doing it. The main thing is just to see how God how faithful God is and how much he loves his children and how he wants to bring them closer to himself. So it's very rewarding in that way. Um, I do think it probably takes a certain type of person who's 
focused in that area, which I'm not sure that I can define because we are a very varied bunch. But if it's something that God, you feel as though maybe that's something that you could investigate, then I would thoroughly recommend that you do because it does such an amazing work in people's lives.